So I was at a bar. I had been at a bar for a while. Uh, and then I left that bar and went to another bar in uh, Williamsburg, of Brooklyn. And I walk in and I'm, you know, hanging out with a couple people, just having a good old, good old weekend time. And I look over to my left, and lo and behold, who's at the bar with me? But none other than uh, Mr. David Cross is there. And I was too afraid to say anything to David Cross because it was too scary. He was a very scary man. Not, very not at all. Not at all. <laughs> but he was there. I didn't want to approach him. I didn't want to be that dick. And like That's it true. seemed like other people were approaching him, and it did not seem like he ha was having a good time with it. Yeah, you probably uh, just wanted I, to go out and get a drink. Yeah, exactly. So, you know, and then at one point, you know, I went to go to the bathroom. I came back, and he was gone. So I was like, well, you know, that was my one opportunity to meet David Cross, and I blew it. And then I, later on that night, I walk out the door to leave the bar, and lo and behold, there's David Cross standing out in front of the bar holding two bottles of hot sauce. I don't know what I said to him, but I said something to David Cross about hot sauce. I made this like a – I know the one thing I remember about the conversation that I had was I was making this uh, this movement with my pinky as if I was scooping hot sauce into my mouth, and that's the only <laughs> thing. <laughs> that's the only thing I remember about talking. David I was making this like I was like you just gotta give it like a. And as I was doing this, I was doing this scooping motion with my finger as if I was eating the hot sauce. 